guys. Oh, How long are you gonna keep your hair, baby? <laughs> I As a token of my love for you, baby. You sure? This night's go good, eh? Tomorrow is another day, so I'm not going to allow that issue. Oh my God, Odogu! <laughs> no, 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 no! I would, I would take this time. Yes, this is the watch. This is a big one, so that I can come inside. Uh -huh. So I have to appease the God. Don't worry, be happy. Say my name until the city burns and the stars fade away and your scars don't hurt. With me until the last man falls. I don't need them anyway when I'm with you. Running around, keeping people please. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> You guys are going to be receiving a lot of this Merry Christmas until December 25th, guys. So we are all in the Christmas spirit. I'm happy people started off quite early. Like, I put up the Christmas tree before December 1st. <laughs> That's how impatient I was. And I couldn't wait for this joyful moment of Christmas. Despite living in this unprecedented times, at least we thank God for life. We thank God that we are in this particular time of the year and we are anticipating the Christmas time. What more can we possibly ask for? If we are alive right up to this moment, it is an opportunity to be thankful. So if we have a major holiday like Christmas that is coming up very soon, why don't we just start enjoying it early? I mean, that's how I saw it from the very beginning. And it's amazing that a lot of YouTubers are into the Vlogmas thing. Like, you have to be uploading videos every single day. It's a wonderful and brilliant idea. Even though it is not easy to create content and put out there, guys, it's very, very difficult. It's time-consuming. It requires a lot of effort. But... You see YouTubers are putting it up, whichever way they're putting up those videos every single day until the 25th of December. That is like milestones they've set for themselves that they have to achieve, that they have to attain. Great. Guys, I'm going to try my best to see if I can keep up with those videos, you know? <laughs> It's not easy, especially when you have a lot of other things happening around you, but you just need to stay relevant on this youtube streets guys yeah so how are you all doing amazing family how are you doing during this season i hope that you are maximizing every opportunity to stay happy because your mind needs to stay sane like you need to be sane <laughs> anything that will keep you in that space of joy that is where you want to be nobody will give you the joy that you deserve or the joy that you need okay so you need to make it happen for yourself so don't allow anything bother you don't worry don't worry be happy as for today this hair needs to go down i need to get a haircut guys the appointment i booked the other day i canceled that appointment as a result of the poor weather but i did reschedule for some reason i just want to do a walk-in today hopefully when i get there they won't tell me stories that i did not book an appointment these days we just have to book appointments for everything even the haircut guys that is our fate that is what covid has brought our way. right all right no running come come and show us your hair do you want to show us your hair you are so cute baby so i managed to do zina's hair yesterday off camera zina was so awesome guys she made it so easy. Like it took us about an hour or less. I didn't really time it, but she yeah. made it really easy. So I was able to come up with this. This is great. She didn't give me no trouble. She stayed still until I finished the hair. Remember what you did to mommy? You are beautiful, but you gave me a hard time, baby girl. So Zina, both of them have had their hair done. So as it is, I have no concerns about doing their hair until further notice. And when I talk of further notice, I'm talking of at least four weeks plus. <laughs> no jokes, right, Zina? How long are you going to keep your hair, baby? 
<laughs> Make sure you keep it safe, keep it clean. <laughs> hey, Grandma. Yes. Yeah, your daughter is going to keep her hair safe and clean. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. Be nice. Oh my god, Sally, be nice. No, 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 no. Stop, you guys, stop, please. Okay, go ahead. Gina, be nice, be nice. Oh, okay, start from the beginning. Hi, guys, what's the back channel? Hi, guys, welcome back to our channel. <laughs> <laughs> that is <laughs> Gina, what is it? <laughs> you say no? <laughs> if you don't tell me No <laughs> What is it? <laughs> no if you, When you say no, I don't know what you want, no. Zina Let me teach your sister in peace My sister Ha You guys, look at this Seriously <laughs> What number is this, Zaley? 19. Good job. We're going to trace, right? And Are you ready to trace? So, guys, this is something Daddy bought for Zaley, you know, to help her learn how to write. I'm not sure what the name is because I threw away the package. <laughs> but this thing is very, very useful, guys. It comes in very, very handy, especially now that we are trying to teach her how to write. Zaley? Are you going to use that to trace? Okay. Now I'm going Yeah, so if you have kids like Zaley who are just starting to read, to learn how to write, this is a very, very good resource, guys. It's awesome. Like when we saw it on Amazon, we just ordered it, but we didn't know it was going to be this good. So hold your pen, Zaley. All right, Mama, go ahead and write. You're going to trace, okay? You're going to trace. Sit well. Sit well so you can trace well. All right, good job. Bye. Bye. Oh, my goodness. It's so sunny out here. Oh, Lord, this is so beautiful. I guess I should have worn something different other than these boots. Because when I woke up in the morning, it was so freezing, it was cold. That's why I wore the boots, but just a couple of hours later, now it's looking so bright, so sunny, so great. Guys, this is amazing. to baba shop i should be going in there in a few i will not be able to go with the camera because fredo is not here to hold the camera for me or to video while he's cutting the hair last time we did that fredo was here with me he helped me he held the camera and videoed while the guy was cutting my hair but today is not going to be like that the guy doesn't mind he doesn't mind at all having anybody come in there with the camera to video which is great awesome i heard back in our home countries people get paranoid when you go in to any of their businesses with a camera i wonder why but here most places don't really care even though we still have a few of them who wouldn't allow you walking with a camera or i don't know what they're thinking but this is just me vlogging guys so i'll see you guys in a bit <laughs> Wow. 
What's going on? I outside. What is going on? I could hear your voice right outside, Zeli. Why are you screaming? Grandma, look at me, oh. Look at me, oh, Grandma. <laughs> I did not cut my hair. <laughs> what happened? Guys, I am back home with my hair still looking like this. This is crazy. When I told you guys that I was stepping out of the car into the barber shop, guys, when I got there, he was actually barbing somebody's hair. And he told me that he will be stepping out for lunch right after taking care of that guy's hair. And he gave me a few time slots that he has available so i picked 130 that's like right after his lunch so i said i was going to come at 130 i said exactly 130 i will be there so i stepped out went to the store picked a few groceries i mean in a bit to wine time so that by the time i get back you know he'll be back from lunch and all that so when i got there i realized that the door was locked the lights inside there was no light <laughs> i was wow. like is this how this guy goes for lunch and turns off the light and you know so i decided to wait a little bit because i got there like five minutes early so by the time it was 1 30 mommy <laughs> i decided to move forward like really close to the door and then i noticed that he had a little notice at the door i'm assuming that he was keeping that notice for me so when i read it it said i'm sorry i had to close early like seriously you gave me an appointment and now i'm here you're putting a notice that you had to close early well again those are some circumstances that we don't have control over so by the time i started getting angry then i reminded myself that there are some situations that you don't have control over because initially when i walked into the the shop i realized that his countenance was somewhat was whack like he was acting funny i guess he might have had some family issues you know i have no control over that but that's okay again we have to be happy irrespective of what's going on guys tomorrow is another day so i'm not going to allow that issue get at me right now so <laughs> the girls are eating their their yogurt yogurt and these girls love yogurt and zeli you couldn't wait right mm -hmm. you couldn't wait for the yogurt ah. did you guys say thank you to grandma did you say thank you Zeze? <laughs> um, can go and drop the blueberries in the house, Zina. Come on. Can you carry that, Zeli? Good job. Good job. <laughs> oh my goodness. Zina, bring the blueberries inside. Good job, Mama. Come inside. Come inside. No, no, no. Okay. These are the things I got from the grocery store. These are like the regular things we always have here in the house. Oh, this is my best. This is the best bread. If for any reason you come across this bread in the grocery store, you can find it at Walmart or Giant. <laughs> As they call it Giant in the other part of America, they call it here Stop and Shop. I mean, all the regular stores have this bread. If you don't have an African store around where you can get African bread, this is a great substitute, guys. It's called Sara Lee Butter Bread. You need to try this. So this is a wheat bread. This is the one I give the kids. So this is what they eat. The, the whole, 100% whole wheat. So we ran out. So I needed to get more. So, yep. And some plantains. Grandma loves green plantains. So we may be um, cooking some porridge plantain. Porridge plantain. That is a typical food from my area, from Ngi. <laughs> and some bananas. Guys, we get bananas in this house like every other day. Everybody in this house is a banana eater. So here are some sweetened condensed milk that I'll be using for some homemade ice cream. I'll let you guys know the type of ice cream I'll make and some sugar. This is just regular sugar for baking. This is not the sugar we would normally eat anyway. So yeah. As far as food is concerned in this house, I wasn't going to cook. We had some leftovers. This is some okra. And this okra soup has spinach in it. It has obono. It has goat meat and some pomo. So it is almost... It's almost gone. So we are going to have this. Fred one is going to eat some of that. And I'll also eat that later. But for right now, this is what I'm going to eat. My bobolo and some peanuts 
I would rather call it granite. <laughs> My African family, you guys know we call this granite, eh? So this is what I'm going to have. Bobolo and granite. Grandma, are you in for it? Mommy? Are you in for some bobolo and granite, Grandma? Yes, sir. Okay. Hmm. Nobody ever says no to bobolo and granite. This is like bringing back old memories, guys. Once you slam the door on the second floor, I regret it all. When I think it through, I can help the way I feel for you. You make me lose my mind like all the time. It still feels right. Stuck in an endless fight like every night. It still feels right. So yes, my Cameroonian exquisites can relate. Sidonie Jumbam, are you in the house? <laughs> It's amazing how these kids love Bobolo. Zeli, you are eating. Did you pray? <laughs> you, sh <laughs> you just lied. <laughs> Zina, did you pray? Look at this one. <laughs> it's not sticking. It's not sticking. Guys, it is supposed to stick and then you just eat it with it like that. So it's supposed to stick. <laughs> Daddy is here. Oh my god, Odogu! <laughs> Yay, that is back. Odogu! What are the simple hair like this? Uh, you know, you, you reported me last week to your excuses. Oh my god, my god! I didn't buy Bailey's uh -huh. Oh my so, This is a big one. So that I can come inside uh -huh. So I have to appease the gods. It will break. Oh. Uh -huh. Excuse it. I have to appease the gods. Oh. Oh you know your that would not you can't carry it with her. Let me take it then. You, you, you oh my god. Oh yeah, Mommy, it. did you did you see this? Oh god, Fredo buy me belly so Fredo Excuse it. This is how they see that they allow me to come inside the house. Can I give you my drink? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. baby. In fact, you don't go sleep for ceiling again. This night go good, eh? Babes. Did you say the night is gonna be good? It's gonna be very good, babe. Oh my god! Did you guys see this? Grandma! I'm going to kiss him. No, they don't give me one kiss. Thank you so much. You see? So now Bailey's make me collect you so. No, but you know now. The one I collected yesterday came with soft. Do you know training. how long I've been asking you for this Bailey's, my love? Uh, yeah. You didn't do what you Every time to. And they say make you buy me Bailey, oh, say if. Clothes. Wait for me. Oh, so those are the clothes? Yes, my clothes. Uh, so? mm -hmm. Mommy, you know, mommy. Yeah. What happened? Mommy didn't help daddy to wash. Well, mommy here? Yes, mommy didn't help daddy to wash. <laughs> mommy here? My mommy used to help my daddy to wash you and iron them. Go and sit down. What do you mean? We are Android age. Last last we go there all right. You go there all right. Oh baby, I'm so see, I'm so grateful for this baby. Not grateful for I, washing my clothes, right? No, you know, you know. God is watching you. Ah, uh, uh, baby. God knows the address of your baby. House. Ah, you see now. They really call me baby different because baby. of baby. Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness, oh girlfriend, thank you so much for this baby. Our shout out winners for today are Gloria AEJ, The Peace Talk Show, and Vincent Osiafiana. Thank you, my beautiful exquisites, for your support all the way. If you want to be among those to receive a shout out in the next video, please do well to drop a comment as soon as you watch this video. Oh girlfriend, what? Ah, I said, talk 
broken up my love for you, baby. You sure? Wait, is this Bailey that is walking out things like this? Yeah. Uh -huh. Water to wash my hands, please. Yeah, I water. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm finding trouble. I squeeze it. I'm finding trouble. <laughs> they need to bring water for America. You gotta wash in the sea. No. No. What is it, you guys? No, we have to go to my baby. Say, make I allow you go wash your hands. Let me enjoy two minutes. Uh -huh. yeah, you want to go on your knees too? Ah. No, 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 no. Excuse, excuse, excuse. We come, we, we come and fight me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank no, you. I, as a good wife, that I know, know, but you know, if you go on your knees, when you buy me this kind of baby like this, yeah. When you no. get, buy me this kind of big baby like this. My no, wait first. Let me pray. Okay, sorry. Minus Satan plus God. Amen. Uh -huh. What did you say? No, I know the greed that can't carry. Don't worry. She may not be the chop the, the food. And God hear me. Say, why make I take this one go? Uh, no, 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 no. I will, I will take this time. Excuse me, they watch me. I don't want to go to jail. You know, I just bought <laughs> big <laughs> bottle to appease the gods. Uh -huh. ah, so let me take this one away. You see? I always like to, to play my own quarter. I know you have, so yeah. I have to be careful. As a good wife that I am, I am. you know, I saw me, he scope me, scope me, scope me. In fact, he even shout self join. <laughs> you guys saw it in the video when we were eating. I didn't scope on him. Thanksgiving. She has all it takes to go and buy it I mean, by herself. What? Why did this guy tell this man? You never come for you, never tell me exactly why you buy it. I know it's not nice. And of course, guys, I, I requested for. A small bottle of baby soup. Seriously, a small bottle. Now you ask for. Look at what this man got. Excuse me, you see? As a Nigerian man that I am, and I still want to have a space on the bed, so I have to behave well. You see, yesterday they told you that they did hair for small princess and, and you should have princess. just said that it's because of the hair where you go buy this one. No, oh, all join, all oh, join. Mm -hmm. They buy the bottle into two. Half of the bottle is for Thanksgiving. The other half bottle is for the hair where no, they do for I'm my daughter. So, aside from that, right? Mm -hmm. This man never talk exactly why he buy this baby so because when you see like that man go buy this kind of babies like this, uh -huh. you have to start talking now. Mm -hmm. This is your eye, I see so. So I now I'm lying to you. Excuse me. Excuse me. You be the judge. 